A lot of people that have had to deal with narcissists might find themselves wondering if there's any way they can help the narcissist, help the narcissist heal, or at least help the narcissist see the reality of what they're doing to themselves and the people around them. I see questions like this all the time, and I know from firsthand experience that sometimes it can be really um, disturbing, preoccupying, and, and stressful to think about what you could have done or what you might still be able to do in order to help this narcissist stop doing all the destructive things that they do. If this is something that you struggle with, then today's video is for you, and I hope that today's video can help you let go of this need to help somebody who doesn't want your help. Welcome to Looking Behind the Mirror, where we explore narcissism and take our lives back as we make sense out of nonsense. As a quick disclaimer, everything I say is based on my opinions and my personal experiences. I'm not a professional, and if you're really struggling, I encourage you to seek professional help. I am providing links below for you. Okay, I know I know. there's a, there's a dog behind me. <laughs> I had to have her in the room with me today because uh, I'm watching her. She's, she's my dog. Well, she's my husband's dog, but now she's my dog. But her name's Lemonine and she's a Shih Tzu. And Lemonine, say hi. Come here. Yeah, say hi. There she is. She's going to be part of the video, so I hope she's not too distracting. I mean, I, I think most people are going to enjoy her but so she's probably gonna be in the background for a little bit of this i actually got the idea for today's video from a comment from a viewer that was asking about a slightly different topic the viewer was asking how they can stop feeling bad for the narcissist how they can stop feeling sorry for the narcissist and i really thought about this as a topic i could talk about but the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know, there's really nothing wrong with feeling bad for a narcissist. I know for a lot of people, this is probably not a problem. There's probably a lot of people listening right now that don't feel bad at all for the narcissist, and that's totally understandable. But there is a lot to feel bad for, really, if, um, if you have the capacity to feel bad for somebody that's hurt you so much. Narcissists are miserable human beings. They are stuck in horrible, horrible misery, and they are tormented by it. Now, most of it is their own doing, but it's a vicious cycle that they get stuck in themselves. And most of them really don't know how to find their way out of that. So there is a lot to feel sorry for. And I don't really think there's anything wrong with feeling sorry for a narcissist. I think it becomes a problem when we start to take responsibility for it and we start to feel like we need to help this person or we start to think that we even can help this person and you know if we can help them then surely we should right we might feel guilty if we just say to ourselves well they're on their own they need to figure this out themselves especially after the conditioning that they've put us through we might feel somewhat responsible for helping them or we might feel like we're a bad person if we quote, don't care and we just walk away and let them deal with their own problems on their own. And of course, it's not always so simple. Some of us might wanna help a narcissist because we just feel bad for them and we feel like it's the right thing to do if, if, if it's at all possible. But a lot of us might want to help the narcissist because if we can help them, heal if we can help them stop sabotaging their life and ruining the lives of everyone around them then we won't have to do these horrible difficult things that we have to do in order to uh, protect ourselves against them or rebuild our lives from what they've done if we can help them overcome their problems if we can help them stop sabotaging their own life then they will be better off and we will be better off too. We won't have to face these horrible things that, that they have put in our life that, that we need to overcome. And so there can be a lot of reasons that you will feel motivated to want to help the narcissist. So what is the problem with this? What's, what's wrong with wanting to help a narcissist and trying to find ways to help a narcissist? I think this can get really complicated and it can get very painful and stressful and 
letting go of this need or this idea of trying to help the narcissist at the same time is also an act of giving up on a lot of dreams or promises that were made to you. It's really giving up on uh, the hope that this person's ever going to change and it's moving forward. Letting go of the need to help them is a way to move forward, but it's something that can be very painful. Limonene. Limonene. Oh my. Let's first go back to the idea of feeling bad for a narcissist, feeling sorry for the, the misery that they are stuck in. I really stopped and asked myself, do I feel bad for the narcissists in my past? Do, did I ever feel bad for them? And I think the answer for me was no, I don't feel bad for the people that they are today. I do feel bad for the things that they endured as kids, the things that made them the narcissists that they are today. I do. I feel bad for the things that they had to go through. Um, no children should have to endure the things that the narcissists I've known in my life had to endure when they were kids. That's not fair. And I think it's okay to feel bad for somebody that had to experience those kind of things as a child. That being said, these are grown adults now. And, you know, we all had things we had to deal with in our childhood. Most of us have had horrible things happen to us in our lives. And many of us have had horrible things happen to us in our childhood. I might feel sorry for the experiences that narcissists had as children, but they are not children anymore. They are grown adults. These are grown adults that are continuing to choose to take their trauma out on innocent people who are just trying to love them. These are grown adults that are stuck in experiences that they had, many of them had a lifetime ago and they are continuing to punish innocent people. They are continuing to choose to deal with their problems by punishing innocent people that are just trying to love them. And I don't feel bad for somebody who is continuing to choose to deal with their problems in that way. I don't believe that they consciously chose to become narcissists. I don't believe that that's their fault, but I do believe that they choose every day to hurt other people now based on what happened to them long ago. They choose to continue to deny the truth. They choose to continue to deny accountability, to shift the blame and to hurt other people every day. And I don't feel sorry for somebody who refuses to deal with problems that are hurting innocent people today. So let's get back to the topic of helping them. How do you help a narcissist? I think if you're stuck in this idea of trying to figure out how to help them, you first need to ask yourself what that even means. How would you help a narcissist? Even if the narcissist wanted your help and was open to it, what would you do to help them? I think that for somebody who's pathologically narcissistic, they absolutely need professional help in order to change their habits and change their perspective and work on these emotional problems that plague them. They need a professional to help them with that. You can't help them overcome these deep, deeply ingrained, serious psychological problems that they have. So that's the first problem is you can't help them. You don't have the training and the knowledge and also you represent something to them that they are never going to allow to help them. If you are somebody that they have abused, that they have looked down on, uh, that they've insulted, that they've used as a, an emotional or physical punching bag, you are not somebody that they are going to want to accept help from. In order to accept help from somebody, you have to humble yourself a little bit. And for a narcissist to be able to accept help from somebody that they have used as a scapegoat that they have looked down on is way too humiliating for them to ever be able to do, especially for a narcissist to be able to do something like that. It's just never going to happen. So they're never emotionally going to be able to accept your help. And even if they did, you can't help them. Another roadblock to all this is one that um, is really common with people that struggle with addictions. You can't start to solve or address a problem until you, you can admit that there is a problem. 
So you can't help a narcissist until a narcissist admits that they need help. A narcissist has to acknowledge that they have a problem before they can seek or accept help from anybody. And that is a huge roadblock for a narcissist because in order for a narcissist to admit that they have a problem that they need help with, they have to admit that they're not perfect. They have to face all of these horrible things they've done all of their life for no reason that they these things they've done to defend themselves against imaginary problems and imaginary attacks against them. And they have to do all of that with the ego that caused them to do all of those things in the first place. There is such an enormous mountain between a narcissist and their ability to face and admit that they have these problems. You can't help them get through that. You, you, there's nothing you can say to help them see that they have problems that they need to address. One of the biggest problems that narcissists have is their inability to take accountability. That is a recurring theme over and over again. And I think it causes almost all of their problems is their absolute refusal to take accountability for anything. And so how are they supposed to seek help or even admit that they need help when they absolutely will not take accountability for themselves. You as an outside person, especially if you're somebody that they have looked down on, you are absolutely not going to be able to help them see that. In fact, the harder that you try to help them see that they have a problem that they need help with, the more they're probably going to double down, the more they're probably going to panic and put those, those mountains up between them and accountability even higher because when you suggest to them that they have a problem that they need help with, that just makes them feel more defensive. That could put them in panic mode because they know deep down, they know that they have a problem that they need help with, but they are so terrified of that that even the slightest hint of somebody else, especially saying it out loud, is so terrifying to them that they're going to build up that denial even more. They're going to block out that accountability even more because they don't want to see it. They don't want help and they certainly don't want help from you. Narcissists want you to pretend that everything is your fault. They want you to take the blame and the accountability for everything they do. That's what they want. They don't want help to change. They want the rest of the world to change around them. That is what they are interested in. And they really don't understand why that is so much to ask because from their perspective, they're the only real person in the world. They're the only thing that actually matters or really exists. So why shouldn't the whole world change around them to accommodate their problems? Why shouldn't the whole world pretend that, that the narcissist is perfect? Why shouldn't the whole world accommodate them? The whole world exists for them because of them. The whole world is a stage that exists only to tell the story of the narcissist. So why should they have to change for all these other nobodies around them? Why should they have to face their problems in order to what? Accommodate all these extras playing a part in a story about them that they're writing the script for? Why should they have to change? I think it's really easy for most people to project the idea that somebody who needs help is also somebody who wants help. And narcissists are a really good example of a person who really needs help. Narcissists need a lot of help. They really do. And they suffer tremendously because they don't get the help they need. But it's because they don't want help. They will not accept help. Trying to help a narcissist is very much like the analogy that we've probably all heard a lot of trying to help a panicking, drowning victim. Only with a narcissist, they're not only a panicking, drowning victim that's going to just drown you in the process of you trying to help them, but they also are blaming you for the way that they're drowning in this analogy. So when you jump in and try to help them, they're not, only, they're not only going to pull you down with them, but they're imagining that you're the one that's causing all of this in the first place, that you're trying to drown them when you're really just trying to help them. Now let's talk about you a little bit. If this is something that you struggle with, 
Maybe you're somebody who likes to help people. You like to be helpful. You want to help people that need help. Narcissists can be very attracted to these kind of people. I mean, when narcissists can find relationships with people who are helpful, who want to help, who want to solve problems for people, then they can really take advantage of that person if that person doesn't have healthy boundaries. And I don't want to make anybody feel bad for being a helpful person. I think being helpful is a wonderful trait. It's really great if you're a helpful person that wants to help people. We need more people like that in this world. But for people who wanna help others, you really need to build boundaries and, and recognize a situation in which you're being taken advantage of and in which you're not helping, but you're actually enabling somebody. You're enabling somebody to continue acting the way they act, looking at the world that they the way they do, just like the narcissist wants you to. Like I just said, the narcissist wants the world to change around them. The narcissist wants everybody to accommodate their problem and change to live with their problem. And when you are trying to help a narcissist by accommodating them and giving them second chances and pretending that you're going to work this problem out with them, that really is what you're doing. And I know that most of us do that with good intentions before we understand that this person really doesn't want help, has no intention of changing, and doesn't feel bad for the horrible problems that they're probably causing you, and doesn't even feel responsible for those problems. Let's talk about me for a second. I have this channel because uh, from feedback I've gotten, I believe that this channel is really helping a lot of people. And I want to be helpful. I'm somebody who wants to help people that want to be helped and that I can help. And I feel like this channel is a good way of doing that. Now, in my past, I have wasted a lot of time and energy trying to help people who did not want my help and who I could not help. So I feel like just my experience, this is a good example of somebody who likes to help people learning where to direct that energy into places where it's actually useful and can actually be appreciated by people who actually want and need help. And I also want to say that if you're somebody who feels bad for the narcissist, who has empathy for their suffering and their misery, I think that says a lot about the kind of person you are. And that is also something that a lot of narcissists will take advantage of. They will use that to guilt trip you. They will use that to make you feel like it's your responsibility to make things better for them. Like if you just leave them on their own to figure it out themselves, that makes you an uncaring bad person. But that's absolutely not true. I really want to drill the point home that other people's problems are not your responsibility. You can offer help when you can and when it's actually going to be used as constructive help, but you are not responsible to solve other people's problems. And when you catch yourself trying to help somebody in a way that they didn't ask you to help them or in a way that isn't really going to help them and you feel that feeling of like, oh, but they but they need help, but they need to know this thing or, or they they need to stop doing this thing. Like maybe you have somebody in your life who's in a relationship with a narcissist and you're trying to help them get out of that relationship. But right now they're, they're in a mentality where they think everything's fine and they don't want help getting out of that relationship. They're not ready to acknowledge the truth. It's pretty much the same thing. You can't help people that aren't ready to be helped. But if this is something that you're struggling with, it's probably coming from a really good place. It's probably coming from some really good traits that you have. And it's really just a matter of learning to channel the caring energy that you have into places where it can actually be used. And it's not just going to aggravate you and the people that aren't, aren't ready to listen. I also wanna share an experience that I had. Um, years ago when um, I was in a, a really horrible relationship with an extremely narcissistic person and I was very, very confused, um, it was the little shaman that really shone a light on my situation for me. Um, and I gave her, I still do give her credit um, for really opening my eyes 
and, and giving me the clarity that I needed to change my life, as painful as it was. Um, I listened to one of her videos one day and the words that she said hit me in just the right way that it just opened my eyes and it completely changed my life almost instantly. And of course, after I listened to this video, I started listening to more and I pretty much immediately realized that I needed to get out of this relationship I was in. And it was horrible, it was heartbreaking, it was messy, it was dangerous, it was scary. It was a terrible, horrible thing that I had to get through to free myself from this relationship I was stuck in. And um, a few years later, I messaged the, the little shaman and I thanked her for basically, I think I said that she saved me or something like that. And I'm, I'm paraphrasing because I don't remember the exact words, but I remember she responded and said something to the effect of, you're the one that did all the work. And these aren't the words that she said, but I got the, the feeling that what she was saying was, don't thank me, thank yourself for getting yourself out of that. And I remember at first thinking like, no, you're the one that helped me. I couldn't have done this without you. And that is still true. But now I can look back and give myself some credit for being ready for help, for wanting help, and for being open to listening to the truth and being willing to do the difficult things that came after that. I had to move my own feet. The little shaman didn't move my feet for me. I had to do that. And for anybody listening to my video today who's being helped by what I'm saying, that's because you're ready. That's because you're willing to, to listen, to help, and to take that and do the work on your own because nobody can do that work for you. And nobody can help somebody who isn't ready or willing to take that help and to move their own feet in a direction that will make their life better. You can't push that onto anybody. And narcissists really are the last people in the world that are ever going to be ready to be helped by anyone, no matter how much you care about them, no matter how much better off they will be if they accept help. You can't make them be ready for that. It's not your responsibility. It's not your job. It's your job to take care of yourself. It's your job to be ready to accept help for yourself, to make your life as good as you can make it for yourself. So next time you are really caught up in this idea of trying to help somebody who just isn't ready for help or isn't willing to accept help, turn it back around on yourself and ask yourself, are you ready to look at the reality of what it is you're trying to do? Are you ready to help yourself let go of the need to help people who aren't ready to listen? I hope this helps. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment below any ideas you have for me for future videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video and would like to see more like it in the future. Until next time, thanks. Bye. Okay, I guess we gotta give you a little bit more lemony and she's very tired. Hey, she's very confused. And now she's a star, right, Lemonine? <laughs> Bye.